So a traditional individual retirement account or IRA account is a special type of retirement account in which money you invest is exempt from income taxes until you withdraw it. Uh, so if we deposit $100 each month into an IRA earning 6% interest, how much will you have in the account after 20 years? Now there's a big clue word here. We're depositing $100 each month not just once. Uh, and so because we're depositing money on a regular basis rather than just once, we know that this is not a basic compound interest problem. This is in fact what's called an annuity problem or a savings annuity. Now we're earning 6% interest. That's 6% compounded monthly, so that's uh, half a percent or, you know, 0.5% or, or, or 0.005. Um, each month uh, in interest, but we're only in earning interest on the money that we've already saved. So we start out with no money in the account, and after one month, we earn interest on that zero dollars. So we have our original zero dollars plus half a percent uh, interest, so we earn no interest, but we deposit a hundred dollars. So after one month, we have a hundred dollars in the account. In the next month, we st we have $100 in the account, so now we're going to actually earn our half a percent on that $100, and we're going to deposit another $100. So earning half a percent interest, I'm going to earn 50 cents worth of interest there, so I'm going to end up with $200.50 because I've earned some interest on that first deposit. In the next month, I'm going to earn interest on that $200.50, and I'm going to deposit $100. So now I'm earning even a little bit more interest because I've deposited more. So at this point, I now have $301.50 roughly uh, in the account. And, and you'll notice that it's, I'm going to earn more interest as I deposit more into the account. So the we end up having a nice equation for this growth that looks like PN is D times 1 plus R over K to the K times N minus 1 all divided by R over K. Now, R, K, and N are what they were before with compound interest. They are the interest rate, K is the number of compounds in the year, uh, and P, N is the number of years. The sort of new variable here is D, and D is going to be our regular deposit amount. A and so in this case, our D is going to be the $100 a month. Our interest rate was 6%. Our K number of compounds in a year was 12. Now, notice we were never told that we're compounding monthly, but because we're depositing money every month, we go ahead and assume that we're compounding monthly. And our number of years will be 20. And so the amount after 20 years is going to be 100 times 1 plus 0.06 over 12 to the 12 times 20 minus 1 all over 0.06 over 12. Now, the same rounding rules apply here as we had before, where we don't want to round to more than three decimal places, uh, sorry, to less than three decimal places uh, as we're evaluating these things. So uh, we could go ahead here and say this is 100 times uh, let's see here, 1.005 to the 240th power minus 1 all over 0 0.005. Uh, and then we can pull out our calculators, evaluate that, uh, and we'll end up with $46,200 in our account after 20 years.